Okay, here's some hints, some quick hints for homework sheet 9. The first question, you have a value of a property which has increased from 283,000 up to 295,000. And you have to write the increase as a percentage. So, first thing you need to work out is what actually is the increase. So that's by doing the takeaway sum. 295,000 take away 283,000. Then change that to a percentage. So we need a fraction times 100. What do we put on the fraction? Well, the top of the fraction is your increase. The bottom of your fraction is the starting amount. So if you get your calculator and do top divided by bottom times 100, That'll turn it into a percentage for you. Question 2. These are the fraction questions we're doing in class at the minute. A half of 5 and a fifth plus 1 and 2 thirds. So bod mass tells us to deal with the add part first of all inside the brackets. And then once you've got the answer for that, you then do a half times whatever that fraction is when it comes out. Similarly for part B, it's that this time you're going to do the subtraction first and then do a quarter times whatever your fraction is. For question 3, a TV set now costs £475.99. We want to know what it was before the VAT was added, so we're going backwards in time. Backwards in time means it's a reverse percentage. We know how to work out those. We get the multiplier and then divide by that multiplier. Okay, so the multiplier is calculated by doing 100 and because the VAT's been added adding on 17.5%. Question 4, done one of these in the, the last few homeworks, 4x take away 6 equals 9. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get that negative 6 over to the other side, which is going to give us 4x equals, and then x equals. Now this time your answer is going to be a fraction, so write it as a fraction. The second one, 5 bracket x take away 2 plus 7 equals 10. Remember we do 5 times x, 5 times the 2 to give us 5x something and then it's add 7 equals 10 and then just like the one above, the 7 has to go over, this number has to go over and then you work out what x is again it'll be a fraction. Question 5, calculate the area and the perimeter. First task we've got here is what's this missing side? What's this missing side? Well, we know this is 5.2, we know this is 11, and we know that the 5.2 and this missing side should add up to 11, so that should help you find this missing side here. Similarly for the vertical sides, we know this is 5, we know this is 2.8, so we should be able to calculate this other vertical side. Then the perimeter is just all these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers added together. To work out the area, we're going to split the shape up into two rectangles call them A and B, work out rectangle A, work out rectangle B and add them together. Remember the area of a rectangle is length times breadth. That takes us to the last question number 6. Now remember, AB squared means you do A times whatever B squared is. So work that bit out first of all. 
then AB squared when there's brackets that means you work out what AB is and then you multiply it by itself and then the last one just substitute the values in and get the answer okay that should be us